Okay, next to the stage is, uh, is Phoenix Resources, uh, non-exec chairman John Wellborn. Uh, for those of you that don't know John, he's an industry leader with extensive experience in the resources sector as a senior executive and in corporate management, finance and investment banking. John is currently managing director and CEO of Equatorial Resources Limited, chairman of Orbital Corporation and non-exec director of Apollo Minerals. John is was previously the head of specialised lending in Western Australia for Investec. As director and chief executive, he's been responsible for driving growth in several ASX listed companies. In addition to his corporate career, uh, and you can probably tell by the size of him, John's a former uh, rugby wallaby, uh, represented the country. Um, how many times, John? Six, was it? Or? Yeah, the ones we won. <laughs> Um, back in the days when the Wallabies used to win, yeah, exactly. He's also been a director or director of Australian, West Australian Rugby and Commissioner of Tourism Australia. Um, welcome to the stage, John. Thanks very much, Jeremy. You were the one that said I had a time limitation, so thanks for the intro. <laughs> You're right. Uh, you. And uh, it's, it's a great privilege to have the opportunity to present the Fennec story to you today. So thanks to Jim Walker and the Diggers and Dealers team, Can Accord and all the sponsors. I always find it inspirational to be here at uh, what is a forum where the dealers meet the diggers. And so it's appropriate that we heard from a global asset allocation expert this morning in Dr Mayo. And uh, those that were uh, uh, keen enough to get up early and come along would have heard uh, many um, important uh, industry messages. The two that I took away actually were Dr Mayo's insistence that it's a time in the industry for sobriety and good actors. Uh, so bear that in mind tonight at the Palace Hotel and the Exchange. Uh, the other one was in looking forward she said two things very clearly uh, about that are very relevant to Phoenix. Um, she said China is not going anywhere in the next 10 years and the one aspect, if you're a dealer, that she was quite insistent on is don't bet against China. Uh, we've seen the iron ore market over the last 10 years be driven by the Chinese economy. Dr Mayo mentioned that India is going to overtake China in a population sense. Uh, and I'm here to talk specifically about Phoenix, but I think uh, the iron ore market, if you follow that through, is an area that's going to maintain uh, huge importance, and that's very exciting from a Phoenix perspective. We are a high-grade, high-margin Australian iron ore producer, uh, and I'm delighted to get into the story. Uh, this presentation, uh, along with uh, a lot of information, including our recent quarterly, is on our website. Uh, you can study that at your pleasure. Uh, I only have allocated 15 minutes, so I'll hit the high points, but uh, we, we're here, we've got a booth, uh, and we're very keen for people to follow up with questions and more detail uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, in summary, we've got one of the highest grade iron ore deposits, in, certainly in Australia and possibly the world. Uh, the resource started out at just uh, uh, around 10 million tonnes at a grade above 64% with no significant impurities. It's a fantastic ore body. Uh, we're one of the success stories. It's, it's uh, great to follow Mark Clark from Capricorn. Uh, one of the things that Mark spoke about uh, with... Uh, the history of his team from Equigold and Regis uh, and now Capricorn is their focus on quiet delivery and exceptional returns. Uh, what Rob Briley and Gary Plowright uh, and the team at Phoenix uh, have achieved and I'm delighted to now be a part of uh, is a similar story of quiet delivery uh, and exceptional returns. So we are a dividend payer. Uh, the current yield, uh, there's not that many companies can look out on the audience today uh, or if you're listening on the live stream, uh, you can buy a Fennec share and you're guaranteed a very strong return based on our uh, fully frank dividend last year. We're close to a 20% yielding asset. And I'll follow up on, on some of the uh, quite remarkable value opportunities with Fennec when we look at the corporate slide at the end of this presentation. Uh, but we have a dividend policy that we continue to uh, promote, which is that we will pay 50 to 80% uh, of our annual profit uh, in a fully frank dividend uh, to shareholders. Uh, when you look at our high margin results uh, and our hedging going forward, uh, there's a disconnect between value and that's an opportunity. Uh, we're not just an iron ore miner, we're a fully integrated iron ore business. Uh, we own port facilities at Geraldton uh, and we own uh, rel relatively recently consolidated our haulage joint venture. Uh, so when you're in the iron ore game, it's important to have a great ore body, we've got that. Uh, we're a miner uh, and we're a logistics provider and we've got a fantastic team that have delivered this project. 
A theme in the conference is obviously ESG. I wanted to cover this up front, and another key aspect of this morning's keynote was the importance of ESG being structural rather than window shop, uh, intrinsic in the structural uh, integrity of Phoenix, uh, and a key part of our strength is our focus uh, on ESG, uh, particularly our relationship with the traditional owners. So I thought Lyndon Brownlee did a fantastic job uh, on behalf of the Wongatha people here in the Kalgoorlie Boulder region in welcome, welcoming to country. Uh, and I'll add to that my acknowledgement of the Wajiri Yamaji people uh, of uh, the traditional owners of the ground where Phoenix is currently mining. Uh, I'm very proud to say that in the direct employment of Phoenix, we have 40% Indigenous. Now, I think that's a, a stat that many miners would struggle to reach. And across our entire workforce, including all our contractors, uh, that number is 10% and a number that we continue to focus on. Uh, that's a structural legacy um, uh, that's important, as is our management of what is a very sensitive area of the world. We mine, uh, the ore body that we have is wedged between two um, uh, sites of, of significant importance uh, and we manage those sites but also the detailed work we've done from an archaeological and anthropological perspective is actually adding value to the cultural importance of those, not just preserving them. Uh, and you'll, you'll understand in the iron ore business how remarkable that is. We're a small scale startup business uh, and intrinsic in our success has been a very close relationship with the traditional owners, uh, championed by Rob Briley. Uh, the founding managing director of the company. Uh, we're obviously a carbon emitter as an iron ore miner, both in, uh, in any scope that you look at, but we're doing everything possible both currently and certainly looking forward uh, to limit uh, our emissions and, and focus on ESG outcomes. Here's our jurisdiction. So in the bottom right of the map you're looking at, you can see if you're here uh, in Kalgoorlie Boulder, um, we're in the Kalgoorlie region, uh, and you can see where Iron Ridge is located. It's 500 kilometres from the port of Geraldton, north of Kew, uh, west of Meekathara. It's a great area to mine. Um, but let me take you there um, with this video. Um, uh, you're about to see the ore body. There it is. You can see the high-grade ore running down the centre there. This is a fantastic uh, best practice mine. Macca, our mining contractor, it's a very simple operation. One digger, three trucks, uh, and uh, they're mining at a very efficient rate, almost exactly uh, under the guidelines of our original feasibility study. Macca also run the crushing and screening plant, you can see there. Produces two beautiful high-grade products, lump and fines. Here's our loading station at Iron Ridge, that's a triple combination of Phoenix Newhall truck. We're actually now almost exclusively running a, a, a quad combination we designed of 140 tonnes. Here's our company owned uh, facilities, this is the only side dumping uh, deloader in Geraldton. Uh, we own our own shed uh, and uh, we use the loading facilities of the Midwest Ports Authority in Geraldton. Uh, I'm very pleased to say that uh, a couple of hours ago, our 34th ship uh, left Geraldton loaded with approximately 60,000 tonnes of our product and that's getting us very close to our 2 million tonne uh, production milestone from inception uh, and uh, that's absolutely as programmed and delivered. Um, Fenix started in the middle of 2018, it's a fabulous story of a four year um, uh, development. Uh, the project started production in December of 2020 um, and uh, uh, so during COVID uh, and delivered the project absolutely on schedule and on time uh, and uh, we continue now to run at a run rate of 1.3 million tonnes per annum uh, at a very high margin. So here's Iron Ridge looking down the ore body. Again, you can see uh, the grade in that ore body in the pit. Uh, in the distance there is Litty, Little Wilgemeyer, um, uh, an ancient um, ochre mine area. Uh, so mining has been an intrinsic part of the Iron Ridge area for tens of thousands of years, uh, and we're very much um, uh, proud to be honouring the, the uh, indigenous mining activities with our operation of the Iron Ridge mine. Uh, it's a very high grade product uh, and we have a lot of customers. So while we uh, ship out of Geraldton to China, a lot of our product actually goes more regionally into Southeast Asia, into markets uh, such as Indonesia, Vietnam uh, and closer jurisdictions providing a shipping advantage both to our customers uh, and to Phoenix and our offtake partners. Um, uh, here's the, the crushing and screening plant, very simple operation. Macca handle all of that at site uh, and uh, 
uh, and Phoenix New Hall do our haulage. Uh, we've generated a lot of cash uh, with the strength in the iron ore price. Um, and we've also managed the iron ore price uh, with a unique hedging model. So um, Phoenix had the foresight to lock in 50,000 tonnes a month at 230 Australian dollars a tonne, uh, and that uh, hedging model runs out to September of this year, and we more recently locked in a further 35,000 tonnes a month at $180 uh, out to June 2023. Uh, and that hedging model uh, is designed with our focus that where our ambition is to generate a 50 Australian dollar margin on every tonne uh, that we ship. We've actually outperformed that in the project to date on the 2 million tonnes I mentioned. Uh, and if you think about uh, the resource and the six to seven year mine life that we have in front of us, there are hundreds of millions of dollars of operating cash flow um, going to be generated by Phoenix if we can maintain that um, average margin of $50 a tonne. Uh, and that's a lot of dividends as well as growth opportunities to fund uh, for Phoenix shareholders and our company. It's a very exciting time. I mentioned the company is a fully integrated miner. Uh, so not only do we operate the, the mine, uh, we also operate now 100% ownership of a haulage joint venture. Uh, we have our own storage facilities and uh, loading facilities uh, at the port. They're listed here on this presentation at a replacement cost of $20 million. I think that's very modest. Uh, more importantly, they're actually priceless because uh, we believe that the existing port of Geraldton has expansion opportunities. This is not an Okuji story. Uh, we're a principal player in the existing port. Uh, we're a bulk commodity miner uh, and we have total control over our infrastructure pathway. Phoenix Newhall is a fabulous business. Most small scale uh, bulk commodity miners are operating trucking fleets that uh, haven't changed in decades. This is a state of the art business. Uh, in the 500 kilometre journey uh, from Iron Ridge to Geraldton, 93% uh, of that journey is in fully autonomous uh, cruise control mode for the drivers. Uh, all of the drivers have real-time monitoring, retinal scans. Uh, we rank them in terms of key deliverables, both in terms of safety outcomes, but importantly, full fuel use, economy, brake wear, uh, and there's a ranking system and a bonus system. It is a state-of-the-art business, um, and I think it's going to be hugely beneficial in our ability to maintain cost control but also flexibility in our business, both scaling up and down, taking advantage of the volatility in the iron ore price, uh, as well as future growth opportunities. We're currently very efficiently mining 500 kilometres from Geraldton. If you put a circle around Geraldton, uh, you see a lot of projects in uh, feasibility stage study. Uh, this has always been a mining region, uh, and we see a, a huge opportunity to use our capital and our expertise to expand synergistically from our existing operations. The transaction to acquire uh, the 100% ownership of the joint venture uh, was recently concluded. It is immediately value accretive to Fennec shareholders, uh, both in terms of dividends uh, and cash flow. And that's very important. We've acquired this business in, in, in a way that will immediately add more, or more value to our business. And that's not valuing the opportunity, the flexibility benefits it provides, as well as the significant growth opportunities. Um, uh, and uh, we're holding an EGM to confirm, to get shareholders to prove the uh, share issue. Another key part of that transaction is that Craig Mitchell, uh, the founder of Newhall uh, and uh, a former uh, entrepreneur of Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year through his haulage expertise, uh, will be joining the board and continuing his focus on that business. We're promoting a growth story with Phoenix. It's a fantastic value play based on the current mine life of Iron Ridge. Uh, and we ended the financial year at 30 June with more than $100 million in cash and no senior debt. And we continue to add to that cash pile with our positive operating cash flows protected by a hedging position. So this business has massive opportunities to grow. We're going to be very, we're going to continue our discipline. Um, you heard the Capricorn story in, in terms of dividends, uh, sorry, capital investment and dividends paid and value creation. That journey has just started for Phoenix, but Rob Briley and the team raised less than $20 million of equity and paid more than $20 million uh, during the first year of operations, being a 5.25 cent fully frank dividend last year. We're yet to uh, declare our annual dividend 
uh, for this year. That'll come shortly. Um, but if we maintain that dividend, and certainly that would be consistent with our policy, as I said earlier, it's almost a 20% dividend yield um, and continues to represent a fantastic return on equity and will only grow. We certainly have money to express in expiration. We've got, uh, there is more iron ore to find at Iron Ridge and around us, and that's an area that's going to be a huge focus in the next 12 months. Uh, represents a massive return on what will be a small investment uh, relatively in that. We're looking at expansion opportunities and that includes uh, acquisition uh, opportunities. We acquired 100% uh, of the iron ore rights over the uh, Ferros project that's contiguous with Iron Ridge. Iron Ridge itself is a very small footprint. Uh, we've now got more than 300 square kilometres to explore. Uh, you can see on this map we're surrounded by iron ore projects in the world range. There is more iron ore to find. We believe there are more iron ridges uh, and when and if we find those we've got the logistics pathway to monetise them quickly. Okay, stay tuned for that. Uh, this is the team. Um, Rob Briley's recently announced his uh, resignation and, and is continuing to work uh, on an orderly transition. Rob deserves massive credit for the story you've just heard. He, he is the founding manager director of this company and he's responsible for what is an exceptional company. Um, uh, and uh, Rob is working to make sure that we transition the management team uh, and build for a future expansion. Um, Gary Plowright was a former executive director, now joins me on the board. Uh, Rob, Gary and Craig, who's about to join the board and myself, are all significant shareholders. Between uh, the four of us, we own more than 12% of the company. Uh, we're very much aligned with the creation of shareholder value. Um, Gary and Adrian Third, our commercial manager, have joined me uh, here in Kalgoorlie. We've got a booth, uh, as I mentioned, in the main arena, and all three of us would love to talk to you more about the Fennec story. The other key uh, member of management here uh, is Chris Tuckwell, who will be known to many of you. Uh, Chris is a former manager director of MACA, uh, and now is a poacher turned gamekeeper uh, as our mine manager uh, in our liaison with Macca, our, our mining contractor. Uh, in summary, high grade ore, fantastic ore body. We pay a big, fully frank dividend. We've got lots of cash flow, no senior debt. We're a fully integrated player. We've got a fantastic team and we're looking to reward our shareholders. On that basis, uh, I mentioned we've got more than $100 million in cash as at 30 June. We've currently got a market cap of $150 odd million, dollars, means we've got a $50 million EV. If you include uh, the value of the hedge book, you're basically buying this business for free. Uh, we've currently got 6,400 shareholders, so if any of you are in here, congratulations. If any of you aren't shareholders, then why wouldn't you be? If you're a dealer, get on board. Uh, we'll return some money to you shortly in a dividend. But more importantly, we're focused on investing for future growth of this company. It's a very exciting story, uh, and I look forward to telling you more about it in future. Thank you. Great. Thanks very much, John. Did you mention your booth number? Did you mention your booth number if people wanted to come past? 30. Yeah, booth number 30 if you want to go see John.